Hey everyone, in today's video I'm going to be talking about red-tailed boas. Boa constrictors are a species of large non-venomous snake. They are commonly kept in captivity and make great pets for intermediate keepers. The two most common boa constrictors that you will come across in the pet trade are boa constrictor impurators, called BCIs, and boa constrictor constrictors, BCCs. BCIs and BCCs look very similar, but one major difference between the two is their tail colour. BCCs have a bright red tail, and BCIs have a darker brownish red tail, kind of like mahogany. Red tail boas are originally from Brazil, so they like higher temperatures. Their hot side should be somewhere between 32 to 35 Celsius or 90 to 95 Fahrenheit, and their cold side should be about 28 Celsius or 83 Fahrenheit. A red tail boa's humidity should be somewhere between 60 and 80% to try and mimic the rainforest that they are originally from. Enclosures should be at least as long as your snake, with a minimum of 6 by 2 by 2 for an adult. But you may struggle to find an enclosure this size on the market readily available, so some people just make their own at home. PVC is the recommended material due to the high humidity. Red tail boas are semi arboreal snakes, so they will make use of climbing opportunities. They can healthily live their entire life on rodents such as mice, rats, and rabbits, depending on the size, depends on their age. Juveniles should be fed every 7 to 10 days, and adults every 2 to 3 weeks. Red tail boas are constrictors, so they crush their prey by wrapping around them, restricting their blood flow and killing them in seconds due to the lack of oxygen reaching their brain and vital organs. They are not venomous, and if you're bitten, you'll be completely fine except for maybe a bad scratch. Red tail boas can live for 20 to 30 years in the wild and up to 40 years in captivity if kept correctly. Males grow up to 8 feet long and females as much as 10 feet. These snakes make popular pets due to their docile temperament and their beautiful colours. Many morphs are available for sale and some of them cost quite a lot. I am taking in a red tail boa in the next week or two, which is why I decided to make this video now, so you guys have an idea of the species before I introduce Gigi when he arrives. Gigi is a seven year old male red tail boa, he's roughly eight feet long, and his current owners have had him since he was a baby, but unfortunately they cannot keep him anymore, so I'm taking him in. They handmade him a lovely big enclosure to live in, and when he arrives I'm going to decide if I'm going to keep that enclosure for him or change him to another one down the line, but I'm going to deal with that when he arrives just so I can see it in person first. I've always wanted a large snake, but I'm not in a position to really have a, a massive snake like a reticulate python. I know many people buy big snakes when they're babies because they're pretty, and then they end up rehoming them as adults because they get too big because the person failed to do the maths on how big they'd really get. So my aim all along has been to adopt a large snake if I found one available, and I finally did. I saw Gigi advertised as up for adoption a few weeks ago, so it was absolutely perfect timing. I've got a new place, I've got the room for a bigger snake, and I've got the time for a bigger snake. So I'm happy out and I cannot wait for him to get here. A nice thing about it is his owner has been really responsible and she conducted a home check which very few reptile people bother to do. So I'm really happy with that and I'm excited to finally get him here, set him up, see what he's like and then show you guys. Currently I think Gigi is not in a bioactive setup but I'll be wanting to switch him to a bioactive setup so I'll also be doing a video on that. So that's it for this video, thank you very much for watching and I will see you soon hopefully with Gigi.